All right, buddy, I come over into the shade a little bit more to get some better contrast. Uh, too much sunlight just glares everything. It doesn't even matter if it's reflective or not with this camera. Um, the Eagle Becker Patrol Pack, or Becker Eagle Patrol Pack, whichever you want to call it, made by Eagle Industries in the United States, uh, as far as I know. Uh, a lot of the most requested reviewed item that I've ever had. Um, I think the second would be uh, probably the X <laughs> that's in the frame, but I'm not doing that today. So uh, I don't, compared to maybe some others, I don't do a hell of a lot of uh, kit reviews. I kind of think they kind of take away from the overall theme of the channel. But once every couple months to knock one out I don't think it's too it's just too bad so I'm not overloading everybody with them there are some I'd like to get done before the weather gets too cold and it's a bit un uncumbersome or uncomfortable to do them outside with the camera um, so I'm gonna do this one now probably a couple more that have always been that have been requested for a long time and just get them out of the way uh, so I can enjoy the rest of fall and the beginning of winter before uh, the baby comes because then it's it's gonna be you know bushcraft time out for a while <clears throat> and hopefully I'll keep this video under 10 minutes. Uh, you know, it, when you don't like something, you can talk about it forever. They say it's the opposite. I don't. I think when you like something, it's just it's harder to express that, how great it is. Um, I'm not the greatest speaker, so that doesn't always help. Uh, but there's two versions of this pack made by Eagle Industries. There's one that's, as you see, is I would let's let's call it traditional, and then there's a Molly setup. Now there are several places on this on this pack, as you can see, one right in right in frame at the bottom that accepts Alice clips. So I wouldn't. Say, this isn't an Alice frame pack, but it is set up to take Alice clips with accessories. So you can you can expand this. Uh, I personally like this Alice setup. Uh, I actually came into getting this bag through a member on Bushcraft USA, um, nearly two a over two years ago maybe almost two years ago and I actually traded it for my Maxpedition Falcon 2 pack um, no knock to that it was a great pack uh, I just liked and wanted this one more so I made an even swap um, he really wanted that one and uh, everybody was happy this was actually brand new in its packaging still, so that was pretty sweet. And quite honestly, of all the use this has had over the last couple of years, um, it's, it still looks great. Uh, so that kind of go. And th what you see in front of you is how I handle my packs. They get thrown around. Um, that's that's what bushcraft is. That's why our gear is a lot different. It's made differently. It's not super ultra light high hiking stuff, backpacker things I call it. Um, you can't you can't throw them to the forest floor and tie on an axe to them real tight, you know, without worrying about tearing that light, uh, <clears throat> delicate fabric. Now this one is set up with clips, and I'm, I'm really jumping all around in this review, but I like this pack, and I think that's the way this whole video is going to go. I'm going to go off on tangents about it, and, you know, why I like it above all. But let's consider this a, uh, a day overnight and you can expand this up to a weekend and while I don't look at I'll show you this pack is very deceiving and I'm I hope I can really stay in frame guys I'm gonna try and leave it on its back here but it's got uh, let's say it's got six main pouches and each one of them breaks down as well and also there's a another place at the top here for Alice setups there's also one on the inside and this is quite expandable. This top will come right over anything you got, and they give you plenty of room to bring the straps up. So you can definitely expand this pack bigger than you think you can. I also have some Alice at the sides and also a place to do some tie down. Excuse me. Now, I often put my axe through here. Now, I don't know uh, the creator, Becker, had everything in mind. I don't understand. I I've read that possibly you could put skis in here. I don't think that would be great. Um, I see you can do it, but I'm afraid for where these are angled, if you were using snowshoes or something like that, you'd definitely be digging in. And then maybe you can get them up high enough, then they might be sticking up too high to be navigating any forest. So, But that's not what this pack is going to be used for anyway. I'm not putting skis in it. So it, at most, 
that ever goes through the sides here and gets tied down is the tripod that I'm, I have the camera sitting on now or, or the axe. I've actually configured my axe a little different this time. I've, I know I was coming through the forest so I didn't want this much of the handle sticking to the bottom and if I'm bending down under something uh, and bringing one of my legs up I can, I can hit the back of my uh, calf muscle. It's not like it hurts or anything it's just kind of annoying so I actually strapped this this a little different today and I'm using <clears throat> Uh, a loop that's down here that's available and I'm just using one of these sides for the Alice clips and I just put a piece of leather. I use this because I can lock it up really tight and it just looks great. <clears throat> uh, start with the outside. Two main pouches at the top. They are, you can clean right through them and uh, touch your fingers on the inside. So. I mean, you can, whatever use you can think of, you can slide things behind the pouch. You can also put your axe back there. It fits well. Uh, it's, that's, of course, that's another place that I could carry it. Uh, about double fists worth of material. I keep fire kit in here and a compass down at the bottom. And I have a sharpener and my mora up at the top. I'm not going to, I'll tell you what's in there. I'm not going to bring everything out. This isn't a kit loadout video. And be honest, I don't, I've only done one of those. And I think they're really boring, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, do what you want with kit. Do what works for you in the manner that you know that you feel it's organized better for you. Don't don't follow somebody else's lead. That's what I say. Um, does I say I'll never do a kit loadout video? Yeah, sure I will probably someday, but I'm not in a rush for it. So don't don't ask me for it, okay? <clears throat> there are, you know, some other things. Uh, there's a Velcro tab here for whatever, and you have another flap here. You put some ID in or something like that. Uh, I have no need for those, so it's not really important. Um, you can bring through at the top here uh, an H2O bag hose. So you do have that option with this pack, which is nice if I ever got into that again. I really never got into it, so it's not really important to me. On the inside, you do have a, a small pouch. The only thing I ever used this for was uh, any manuals that I wanted to bring, wild edibles, uh, small journal, or anything like that. But right now, it's not being used for this day hike. But it's a nice little spot. Definitely fits a wild edibles book. It's almost the perfect size. The majority of the pouch's uh, storage is one main pouch. It's deceivingly long. Uh, <clears throat> when you look at the pack all strapped and tied in, it doesn't seem as big as it is, but it's actually quite big. Uh, it's, it's longer than a bedroll would be. I mean, I don't have a measuring tape on me, so you just kind of have to judge. But, well, here's your axe, 25 inches deep. Probably a little bit longer than that if I got the pack up and weighed it in. And it's, and you uh, compress it down for what you got, just rolling it like this and then bringing it in. This works great. Uh, I like drawstring, but this works just as well. Um, so it's not a problem. I'd like to show you the, in, the inside of the pack, but with the, Camera the way it is. I don't think it's going to work. I actually brought my some bow drill materials. It's got four pouches. One to the front and two to the sides. I usually keep my uh, uh, flint, flint steel and striker in one of these, but I didn't this time. I have an axe in here. I carry that inside the pack, yes. So it, it does have plenty of room. I got a tarp in there. My kettle will go in there. But like I said, it's deceivingly large. Um,